Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at addition. Now for entry three, the learning objectives for Edexcel are understand that there are different strategies for adding, add three digit numbers, know how to align numbers in column addition and understand place value for units, tens, hundreds and thousands. We looked at place value in a previous video, so if you hadn't seen that, go back and look at my place value um, video. This will help us make sure we're lining our calculations up correctly. The keywords for today, digits, units, tens, add, plus, sum of and total. We will look at those throughout the video. The most common place where people lose marks in this particular topic is not understanding the place value, especially when there's a zero involved. Um, not understanding exactly where to start from an addition. Do I start from the left or the right? Not understanding how to carry numbers. Um, not knowing that addition is associative. So what this means is if I'm doing five plus one equals six, one plus five is also six. So many believe that you have to add the numbers in the order that the question is in. However, as I say, addition is associative. So you are able to put whichever number you wish first in this and maths vocabulary. So speaking of vocabulary, what language do we use for addition? There's many words used for addition. The main ones are add, plus, and, total, sum, and calculate. So you may see any of those and they all mean addition. So when we're adding large numbers together, we need to make sure we line them up so the place values are the same, so that our units or our ones are on top of each other. We then need to make sure our tens are lined up, our hundreds are lined up, and thousands are lined up if we have any. We should always work from right to left, so you're starting at the right, you're starting with your units. If you're adding in one column and the total comes to more than 10, then you need to add that additional number to the next column. So let's have a little look at an example. If I was adding 486 and 328, first thing I would do is line them up so my numbers are on top of each other, my units, my tens, and my ones, um, and my hundreds, sorry, are all in order. So I'm going to start at the right, so I'm going to start with my ones. So 6 plus 8, or 8 plus plus six is 14. So I'm going to put my four down and I'm going to carry my one. Now I'm going to place my one here. It doesn't matter if it's here, if it's above, if it's underneath, as long as you don't forget you've got that one there because it's actually a 10. Six plus eight is 14. So I'm putting a four down and adding another one to my, my tens column. So eight plus two is 10 plus my one is 11. So again, I'm going to put one down, carry my one. Four plus three is seven plus my one is eight. So 486 plus 328 is 814. When I'm laying out my sums, especially at entry three, I need to make sure that I'm putting my addition sign on. If I make a mistake with my final answer, I will still, in most cases, get a process mark, but I need to tell the examiner what process I've done. So I need to make sure I've got my, my addition symbol. Again, it doesn't matter. I put mine here. If you happen to put yours on this side, it doesn't matter as long as you've lined them up. I would like to look at one more example. So I'm going to do 285 add 436. So I'm going to line them up again. So my units, my tens, my hundreds. So five plus six is 11. So I'm going to put my one unit down and carry my 10. Eight plus three is 11 plus my one is 12. So I'm going to put my two down, carry my one. Two plus four is six plus my one is seven. Okay, I would like you to pause, have a go at these questions, and we'll do some practice of addition. Okay, let's check out those answers. Hopefully these are the answers you got. If not, have a look and see where your mistakes are and go back and try it again. In an exam situation, questions are going to be based more on real life situations, so they're going to be worded. We're not always going to get told which calculation, so we need to be able to work out which calculation we need to do. 
As I said previously, make sure you show all your working out, including setting up your sum and using the symbol for your process. So don't forget your process symbol because you will get a mark for that. Let's have a look at some exam style questions. So here's the first one. These are the amounts that Brett will spend on his trip. Travel is going to be £169 and the hotel is going to be £108. Calculate the total of these amounts. Pause and give it a go. Let's check out that answer. Hopefully you got 277. This was a two mark question. I was getting one mark for knowing it was an addition. So if you've got something with an add sign on, you've got mark number one. And mark number two was for your 277. Let's have a look at another one. Lynn moves to a new flat. These are the amounts she will spend each month on rent and bills. So rent, £679, bills, £138. Calculate the total of these amounts. Pause the tape. OK, let's check it out. Hopefully you got 817. Again, one mark for knowing it was an addition and one mark for your final answer. Let's do one more. Kamar sells 289 adult tickets for the music event. He also sells 136 children's child tickets. What is the total number of tickets he sells? Pause and give it a go. OK, let's check it out. Hopefully you got 425. Again, a mark for your addition sign and a mark for your answer. So what we've done today is we've looked at different strategies for addition. We've added some three digit numbers. We've aligned our, our um, columns correctly so that we got the correct answer. And um, as I said, we need to be happy with place value to be able to do this. So if you need to go back and look at place value again, please do. So thanks very much for watching. Best of luck with your studies and please like and subscribe.